Hi, this is Bill. Today I want to show you how to go about resizing an image so that you can use it on your website. Now, most of the digital cameras and even cell phones that are taking pictures now, those pictures are really too big to be used on a website. And even online photo galleries and sites like that, they recompress and shrink down those photos most of the time. So what I want to show you how to do is how to do that before you upload it so that you can use it on your website and it won't slow things down or cause kids not to be able to actually see that image. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Microsoft Office 2010 and the photo editor that's inside of there. So I have a picture that the icon is right here on my desktop and that's where that file is. So the first step is to go and find a file, a picture file that you want to put on your website. So I found my picture file. I'm going to right click on that and come down to the open with option and then select Microsoft Office 2010. This is going to open up the Microsoft Office 2010 picture editor and you can see that this picture is it's probably too big. It takes up most of the screen. It's probably too big for the web. So what I want to do is I'm going to go in and change the size of this picture. I'm just going to resize it, size it down so it's a little more reasonable on a website. To do that, right up here at the top, you see this link or button that says Edit Pictures. I'm going to click on that and it opens a sidebar on the right hand side. In that sidebar, you're going to see a link that says Resize. Clicking on Resize, at this point I can see the original size of this picture. This one is 1920 by 2560 pixels, which is that's a really big picture. That's going to take up most of the screen. It's good for portraits, but not so much for the web. So what I want to do is come up here to where it says predefined width and height. I'm going to click on that and come down here and for this purpose for our purposes right now, I'm going to select email large. Now, there's a bunch of different ones here. Email large is going to fit the size that I need at this point for this particular picture on the web. And that's going to make it 314 by 235, which is significantly smaller than the 1920 by 2560. So I'll click on that, click OK, and you can see that the picture resizes. Now this is a far more reasonable picture to put on the web. Go over to File, Save As, and I'm going to call this the same file name, but I'm going to put small behind it so I know that that's small. Now the reason I'm doing save as is so that I don't overwrite that initial high quality file that was there that I was taking this image from. Click on save. I now have this picture that I can put on the web. Makes it really easy to do. If you have any questions about that, please let me know.